It was standing room only with avatars from around the metaverse come together to help Intel Software and Solution Group open its software network zone in Second Life. A hush falls over the crowd as Elliot Garbus, General Manager of the Developer Relations Division, arrives dapper in his virtual suit and tie for the unveiling. Fellow avatars, today we open an Intel facility in a virtual world, the Intel Software Network Zone in Second Life, our newest destination for technical training, collaboration, and community engagement. Linden Lab, the creator of Second Life, understands that without Intel's innovative leadership, Second Life could not exist. Linden Lab has deployed Second Life based entirely on Intel dual-core Xeon platforms. Now, Intel is truly the core of Second Life. Hi, I'm Parrot Stein, your Second Life avatar guide. They call me Paul Steinberg in real life. Welcome to our virtual software communities on Second Life. Here we have the resources to access technical content, develop online communities, and to meet with Intel experts on topics from multi-threading to mobility. Second Life is often used for marketing promotions. Its real strength, however, lies as a platform for social networking and community. That is why SSG is using our software network zone to promote and extend our software communities and technical discussions. Let's take a quick look at some of our events. The Great Brainiac Warbots Coding Challenge. Here's a bird's eye view of the Warbot Arena in the Intel Sandbox. There's Divide Maelstrom, Brainiac Warbots Code Guru in all of his glory. Hungry for a challenge, code thirsty residents prepare their warrior bots for battle while eager spectators look on. The coding challenge begins and competitors draw upon their coding expertise to outsmart their rivals. The aftermath. Triumph and despair. Winners and losers relax with their trusty steeds. Tim Matson and Charles Condon lead a discussion of the future of software entitled Science Fiction Computing, boldly going where no programmer has gone before. We've had a number of Meet the Blogger events. Joe Wolf of DPD and Clay Brashears of ISC enthrall the crowd with a discussion of Intel compilers and multi-threading best practices. Kevin Perkle, known in Second Life as Zombie Bob Zinovka, gave two presentations on Hacking Intel, ISNJ Query, Web 2.0, Mashup Services Appropriation. The environment of Second Life is exciting. It is proof of Intel's vision. Improve the platform by maximizing the combination of Intel processor and software, technology enhancements and innovations. Second Life is just one manifestation of a new model for sharing information, building communities, and making data smarter. In the future, avatars will have intelligence built into them and will not be confined to any one virtual implementation, but rather will be free to interact across the network. Intel is engaging now in order that we help guide and shape this future.